Hello Virgo, how are you doing? Welcome into your 3rd of November tarot reading with me, Deborah. Let's have a look and see what is going on in your world, um, in your emotion, actually, because this is a psychic tarot of the heart. Okay, so we want to see what's going on in your emotion. Then we're going to get your tarot cards out to see what's happening around that energy. So you have got dedicated effort. I am not surprised, Virgo. You guys are very, very hard workers. Out of all the zodiac signs, you in Aries, I think you work the hardest, say. Eh? Um, dedicated effort is eight of pentacles. This could have something to do with working on a relationship. It could be you working on your dream, a, a business, your career, whatever this is. This card sometimes reminds you of karma. So whatever you put in is what you're going to receive back. So if you put the effort, you will get something back for it. Okay. So let's see, it can be an indication of money that wants to come in towards you as well. Um, just like open the door for that one. Be like, yes, universe, my door is always open. Thank you so much. So let's get in here and have a look and see um, what energy is like around this reading. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Swords. Good. This is a good reading. I'm going to tell you right now. And we've got a Five of Swords. This is a good reading. To have two cards that are talking about something negative. Um, with a card that pops up here so unbelievably positive it's an indication that some kind of problem is about to get solved in your world the eight of swords and the eight of pentacles two very different energies the eight of swords can indicate a blockage in some part of your life here that is either conflict with the five of swords or a problem with the five of swords that comes up in your life it's like i can't solve this problem i can't get a job I can't find the right relationship. I am blocked. Why is this con continuously um, uh, happening to me? You may even be doing the right things here. You're going to look for work. You do what you're meant to be doing. But this problem keeps coming up again and again as a conflict or a situation arising that's causing a blockage. That, thank you, is being removed. You keep doing the right thing. You keep pushing. You keep doing what you're meant to be doing, even though you feel like you're not getting the results, okay? Please, I am begging you from Deborah's heart here, because I know about things. I'm old now, okay? <laughs> keep going. Even though you feel like doors are shut, you keep going, because the door is about to open for you. And if you give up now, you're not going to get here. Remember, this card is about karma. What you push, what you give is what you're going to receive back. If you stop pushing and you stop giving now, you're not going to get this reward. Please keep going. This is very, very good energy. With whatever area of your life you feel like that blockage is happening in, that's a major shift about to take place. Get ready to get busy, by the way, which is a good busy, by the way. There we go. Thank you so much for coming in. I hope this helps you and um, allows you to get some guidance in your life. If it does, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to catch a long form video by me, you can click onto this one here if it does resonate with you. If you want to catch more content and not lose me, please do subscribe. There's the subscribe thingy over there. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow in your daily readings and more long for the longer form content as well. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.